Alrighty, here's the other crew. I'm gonna go ahead and go on in here because I want to check to see how they're doing. We have the four ducks, male ducks that we kept. Well, three male ducks, this black one here, we don't know if that's a male or female. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. I'm coming in to see the new crew. Where, where's baby boy? As soon as we brought the new babies in here, uh, the new baby ducks, baby boy went straight into poppy mode. So he has been doing the daddy deed. Hi, baby boy! Is everybody safe? There's a lot of feathers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got all six. We heard an owl this morning. Hello, guys. Are you being a good daddy? Yeah. What is this? What is this? There's something there. That was not here before. I don't know. That's weird. All right, so I'm gonna take a walk. I just wanna make sure everything's okay. Oh, we got a herring, a little one. It's just, I saw a lot of feathers, so I wanna make sure I'm gonna look for tracks too. We heard an owl this morning, and uh, we actually got out and got our 22 just in case. If it wasn't, but it's it was it was a big owl. He was very large and in charge. There are just feathers everywhere. Are you guys, Miss Turkey? Are you okay? Oh, did we get sexy time? Mr. Turkey. Is that why you're all up in a fuss? Sexy time? Yeah. Huh, Mr. Turkey? You're a good turkey. Yes, you are. Okay, so everybody looks good. I don't see no unexpected eggs. Whew, banana leaf. That one fell. I'm going to check in here. Just make sure we don't have no surprise snakes. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. Well, that banana tree is leaning up on that post. Look at that. Got a rack there. Got a rack over here. Oh, more bananas. Yes, I'm going to feed you guys. Give me a minute. Let me get everything locked back up. Are you guys ready? Come on! What you doing, honey? I am taking this little chicken coop apart because we will not be using it in here. We will be using it for these other pins. And my cob ducks are going to go in here temporarily until we get the uh, big cob duck aviary finished. Nice. Yeah, so we've been kind of busy. Um, we didn't film a lot, but I noticed our two breast roosters were fighting the other day. So obviously they're becoming of age. We're having to 
uh, separate them. So we went ahead and oh, I got an eggy. Um, this was the younger of the two, and I gave him uh, two. You know, yeah, he's a smaller rooster of the two. But the two hens that are with him are my California wine dots, which uh, we hatched out. These are actually Stupid's uh, daughters here. So break up that cycle. We will be putting nesting boxes in here soon. But we went ahead and we lined the whole thing with uh, chicken wire. And then we went ahead and fixed the netting. We fixed this. Um, we got to, hold on here, let me get this, because the netting is supposed to be over this, so they don't fly out. Oh, it kind of ripped here. Might have to fix that. Yeah, but then this guy is the bigger of the two, and those are the original hens that we got from the, um, was it Breast Farms? But one of them is, really a California wine dot because it has the exact same speckles California. yeah California. or oh not a wine dot a California white I'm sorry but uh so yeah we got them separated and then we're clearing out this pan for the call ducks this is originally what the uh, breast chickens were in and then because we're doing all this moving around we also moved around some of the uh, white, the uh, full-grown ducks out of there into the duck pen. I'll show you that in a second. But we went ahead because we knew we were um, doing a bunch of changes with a bunch of birds. We went ahead and we got another Grub Terra Black Soldier Fly Larvae. Just this gives them a treat, helps them settle in. Yeah, helps them settle in. Um, I have noticed that some of my eggs were a little bit more fragile than normal. So this is going to help, considering this is all healthy, produces stronger shells, it gives them more calcium, um, and it's raised in the U.S., America. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and give everybody some treats today. And then also, too, um, I was informed by Grubterra that if you go on their site, which I will have a link in our description below and in our list of things that you can look up on Amazon or on other websites. Um, they have offered us an affiliate link. So if you click on our link, order, uh, if you do order anything from them, anything from their website, if you type in the word food foresters, one word, you get 10% off your entire order. So go ahead and hit up their website and hit the links below so that way you can uh, get yourself some treats for your birds yes stupid all right we're going to clean well donald's pretty much getting this area ready but do you think we should put the thing in the back no i think over here or dead center dead center wouldn't be bad where it's kind of level. We can dump it that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, we probably ought to dump it this way because it kind of goes that way. Yeah, let's put it right here. That way we can dump it. Well, we need to make sure it's just level, that's and all. It, it is pretty level here. And it kind of sunk it down a little bit. Yeah. But that way I can dump it out that way and it'll kind of wash mm -hmm. some of that forward. Okay. Well, I'll let you do this. I'm going to take a look. Uh, I'm going to go over here. We got the two. The, are the naked necks going to go in there too? Um, These two, two naked necks? I'm going to see if they, if they can. Ooh, that little. You know what? That is a. That's a silky. That's a phantom silky yeah, we got. Yeah, that's a silky. That's a phantom silky. He's like chasing the flies. I'm gonna see if, um, it, if, it, if they can fit through the chain link. If they can't fit through the chain link, then yeah, I'll probably put them in there. Okay. Also. 
What do you mean? Well, if we put a small water in there. We could. It's not, I mean, we got plenty over there. It's just going to be the turkeys over there when we get done. So, Bonnie girl. It is 106 out right now, and it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This heat is just horrendous. It's really poor Bonnie's pray go, and she's like, she just looks at you. Hello, Clyde boy. How's my Clyde boy? How's Clyde boy doing? Yes. Bonnie girl. Are you tired of being prego? Yes. Right. Don't talk to me. All right. So here is the turkeys we're raising for meat. Um, here's Donald's call ducks. We're going to be moving them. And then we found out the bantam chicken right there. is a rooster <laughs> but he thinks he's a duck so we're gonna go ahead and keep him with the call ducks since they're small but all that'll leave only all the turkeys in here so that'll help help ease up the uh them fighting for food because they're at that stage where they're hungry all the time all right let me get my chores done all right got the bag that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna take some and let's check out the first crew. Let's see what happens. Since they've never had this before, well. <laughs> Alright. You like it, Missy? Huh? That good stuff? Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, let's try it with the other one. That looks kind of funny like that. <laughs> All right, let's give it to group number two here. Now they've never had this before, so I might have to back up. They're not used to, but, but they're going at it. And that rooster's never had one before. We gotta name these roosters. Hold on, don't get too close. Stop. There. This is the first time it's done trying Gruptera. Look, he's already, he's like, yeah, check this out. Mutt and Jeff. No. <laughs> no. No. Thing one, thing two, thing one, thing two, I mean. I actually like that. What? Thing one, thing two. Thing one, thing two. All right, let's try my crew. Come here, stupid. <laughs> there you guys go. Yeah, you know what's up. Where's little Miss Cochin? There she is. <laughs> you better come get them. Yeah, let me get you guys some more. Oh, look, they're eating them. Yeah. They're still a little shy. They're not used to my hand. So. Let's see here. Here, guys. There's some more for ya. Yeah, you guys like that stuff. All right, so what I'm gonna do is because we're gonna get ready to transfer birds in here. I'd say let's put them next to the house over there. Those, uh, don't put any hay in them because if the ducks use them, the ducks can just get inside. I thought it was like a little bit of hay. Well, see, the problem is the little bit of hay blocks the door, and then they don't go in it. That's oh. that's what I found. Well, they can always pull some in if they want to make a nest. Right. Okay. 
and then we had the roof collapsed on this part so we had to uh, take off that part that's all right this will work for the little chickens yeah all right so do you want to do your ducks first yeah all right so i'm gonna here get the hose out of here all right so let me uh close up this bag and then i'll help you round up some ducks all right we got the ducks and the one bantam rooster in there i gave them some grubterra yeah they're just eating away Now we gotta, I just realized there's a gap here that they can, uh... Ah! What are you doing? I got dirt all in my hair. Sorry. So what are you gonna do with that? You gotta, remember, it's gotta go out. Yeah. Oh yeah, put one inside the pool. That way if a bird gets in there. All right, now what about this gap? Well, hold on, give me a minute. We could probably, what, put a board? Because that swings out. But we would need a big one. All right, let's figure this out. But I did give them some Grubterra and some food, so we'll see if they uh, find it. Temporary solution. All right, now we're gonna do the the spacing test. This is our our method to tell if a chicken is ready to be outdoors. <laughs> as long as they can't fit through the holes. I think we're good. I think, All right. he, I think he or she is ready for the great outdoors. All righty. Oh, he's talking to you. Now we don't know if they're boys or girls, right? Nope. Yeah. But we definitely know that Bantum is a rooster because I physically saw it crowing this morning. You want, let's, ants. Let's do the test on this one, just make sure. I think we're good. He's already digging around. <laughs> They're like, yay, we're free. Here, put this up first. Or you know what? No, put that, no, shut that gate first. Yeah, because then we can lean that in case they get through that gate. This side will be blocked. See how there's a gap there? So if they actually get through that other hole, we can have that there. There we go. See our scientific methods work. Uh, will make me feel good tonight. Oh look, they're already dust bathing. She <laughs> whiz. Oh no, you that's that brick you moved, did isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're finding bugs. Yeah. And these guys are all just hanging out over there. Alrighty, so we just got to take care of those three then, huh? Oh, yeah, they're duck bathing too. Yeah. Uh oh, here comes the ducks. They're like, who are you? What are you doing? I'm hoping they'll get along because they haven't considered, the ducks haven't considered this their territory yet. Yeah. Oh, they found the pool. Well, they are just having a ball, aren't they?
<laughs> yeah, they are just dust baited. Bless you. So I tell Donald to make sure he brings in his sawzall and my basket. Look what he forgot. <laughs> oh, he's right here. I thought you forgot. Oh, that is thunder. It's getting close. No, I just did my uh, warm tea. Yeah, how's that doing? Well, it's, this is working really great. I got this cracked. Uh huh where it just slowly drips into there. Good. And then once this fills up some, I dump it into my five gallon bucket and then I go put it on a food forest. Yeah, our little mini food forest over there. That is our best looking food forest. Our little micro food forest is the best looking one so far. They're not paying really any attention to the turkey necks or, or the naked necks, are they? No, not really. Although, the mean one is too busy taking this bath. Yeah. The enforcer. <laughs> All right, well, we got to get inside so we can get, um, Get ourselves some food. Making spaghetti tonight. Ooh, you were close up. Let me back out. <laughs> oh, gee, I thanks. have to zoom in now on you, honey. Am I that scary looking? When you're zoomed in that close, yeah. <laughs> Woo, yeah, it is hot out here. The humidity level. Oh, is. It's like at 90%. It, it was 106 before we came out here. The heat index. The yeah. heat index was, so... Or those naked necks are in Listen, listen. Dust bath. You can hear them. Yeah. That's why I like those waterers a little bit higher up, but I'm thinking they'll be okay for right well, now. Well, it's. With them, they're so small, I can't put it up much higher. Yeah. Yeah. But I might take the tomorrow after work. I'm probably going to take the chicken wire and run it across at least this side of it. Or just... And then up the edge. Yeah. Well, I think just across, you know, from from where the gate starts to just past where the gate is, and then up, and we can I can find more twist ties. Yeah. We have some few, a few in there, but they're the big ones. Me stupid crows again. Go right! Well, they're liking their new area. Yeah, that's good. Well, they don't have turkeys trampling on them. Oh, nice. Is that where you threw the grub terra? Um, in front, between the hay and the uh, pool. Oh. Well, they found something over there that was lined up to them. Yeah. Probably bugs in the hay. Probably. 